G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Boring Your Heart Out. Now this is a carry-on video from the last two uh, ADP crystals that I made with um, a little bit of um, alum powder in them to make them kind of grow spikier. And this is where we left off. There's the white one. And actually, yeah. and then this is the blue one. Very similar. They grow, grew very similar. They each had their own little container. And I'm just going to pop them back in there for now. Actually, they probably don't have much room to keep growing. They've got height, but they haven't got much width. Look at that. I can put a finger in. Oh, it's touching my finger. I might have to actually upgrade them to a bigger container. So you, they don't only, don't only just grow high, they grow wide as well. So you do need to um, think about that when you're choosing containers. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to mix up some more solution for these two little guys. I need my scale. My kettle has just boiled. I can hear that. It has just boiled. So I'll go and grab that. And I think I'm going to make up, I'm going to have to make up a decent amount because I want to divide it into two because I've got, I guess I can get one big container. But see, one's blue and one's white, so I kind of have to have two separate solutions now, don't I? Okay, so this is what I've decided to do because I'm going to have to make up a lot of solution just for one crystal, for each crystal. I'm just going to pick one of these two specimens and uh, I'm going to grow that. The other one, I'm going to choose the blue one. This one I'm just going to put aside and um, we can grow him or her at a later date. So I'm going to pop it aside and I'm just going to concentrate on this blue one. It looks quite interesting. It's got little bits that are coming out the sides, like growing. I don't know, I didn't know how you explain that growing little ones out of the big one. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is um, I've decided I'm going to just grow the one and um, I'm going to grow it on a rock. So maybe I can get little crystals all over that rock. So I'm going to just, just for something different. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm not going to glue it on. Hopefully it'll just kind of attach. I'll figure out how, how it wants to sit that it's going to look, look pretty. Um, once I've worked out how it's going to sit, mm, now it kind of needs to go long ways, doesn't it, to follow the shape of the the rock. I'll be careful not to break anything at this stage. They're a little bit more delicate when they're still wet. You could, if you wanted to, um, hot glue it down. I think that'll be all right, though. It'll be all right. Let's just we'll just put that to the side. And we need to mix up solution. It'll it'll be all right, hopefully. Hopefully it should be all right. Or should I glue it down? Oh, gosh. I just figured that the others, you know, because when I was trying to loosen them in the, in the previous video, like it gets stuck to the bottom. And I figured, well, it would just get stuck to the bottom. So anyway, um, I'm going to go and grab my kettle. So this jug here is goes up to a litre. I'm going to do 800 grams. For me, I struggle. When I try to do 800 mil, milliliters, I look at the line and I think, well, am I on the line? Am I above the line? Am I... <laughs> okay, that's about... It's under the line. Okay, so now the bottom of the bubble... The bottom of the bubble that you can see needs to be on the top of the line. Yep. So when you're looking at the bubble, it kind of looks like a bubble. The bottom of that bubble needs to be on the top of your measuring line. So that's 800 grams there. And it's also 800 milliliters. They're the same. Now I want a growing solution because I want crystals to grow over the rocks. And I want this crystal to grow bigger. So I'm going to put half so 400 grams of MAP or ADP 
ammonium dihydrogen phosphate. So I've got 800 grams of water, I'm going to do half, 400 grams of ADP. It's going to take a little while. Actually, I hope I've got 400 grams in here. <laughs> and you also have to make sure that you're not going to overflow your, um, overflow your water too. So don't fill up your jug totally with water because then you'll have no room to add your powder. Seems like a lot. <laughs> as long as it dissolves. 240. <laughs> I'm only just over halfway. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir. I will need to put my jug of water or solution back into the microwave though, just to heat it because as I'm doing this, the water's cooling down. I think it should be just right. I don't think I'm going to overflow my jug. I'm up to 340 grams, 370, 380, 390, 395, 400. Okay, that's almost emptied out my, <laughs> my container. I'm going to need some more ADP. Um, speaking of that, if you are enjoying my videos, I have got a link for some tips. If you want to send me a tip to help me out to buy some more ADP, I'm going to have to buy some more ADP. The link's below. I would really appreciate it. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. I just, I'm going to have to go and buy some more. It uses a lot when you're make, making up such a large amount, hey? All right, so I'm going to dissolve this. Now, if you just use the ADP, your crystals will be quite square looking. You may remember me doing a video, I'm just putting my hand there so it doesn't run out the spout. You may remember me doing a video where I did the little cluster and it was quite a, a stocky, kind of chunky, squarish looking crystal cluster. Um, and then I did research and I found that adding a little bit of alum, aluminium potassium sulfate, makes your crystals grow fast and makes them go spiky. So depending on how spiky you want them um, will sort of determine how much you use. So I do one gram per 100 mils of water. So I've got 800 mils here, so I'm going to do eight grams. So I'm going to get my little scale out. And I think the big heavy jug is going to be too much to go on my little scale so I'm just going to pop it here oops turn it on so eight grams you could go a little bit more or like eight and a half or you could do seven and a half depending on how spiky you kind of want it so I think I'm just going to go eight or maybe just under eight doesn't take a lot to get to so that's four already if you're going to put it straight into your solution, just do it really slowly because at one time I just added way too much and then it's gone. You can't take it out. Okay, so that's seven. Oh, we're over eight. I'm going to take some out. Eight point one eight. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so that's the ADP. And that just goes in. Don't drop your scale in, it just goes in. Okay, so now, now I'm just going to stir this up. I'm going to pop it in my microwave. I am going to add some blue to it. I don't want to make it so dark that I can't see what's going on in here. So what we need to do now is I need to dissolve that. I need to sieve it, I need to put some paper towel in there, I need to put all this through to get rid of the impurities. Now, alum is a, they use it as a, among other things, they use it as a water purifier. So what it does, and it's doing its job here, um, you can see all the little white sort of cloudy specks. Um, when, the, when the solution settles, all the impurities sink to the bottom. So you can do this two ways. You can either sieve that through a paper towel which takes forever 
or you could let it cool. The impurities will be about that. They'll look like a, a thick layer of cloud over the bottom and then you can just pour your solution out and leave those heavier impurities in the bottom. So you could do it two ways, either way. But um, I'm just going to go and microwave this to make sure that it's totally dissolved. Okay, so there's my solution. I put it in the microwave for a minute. It's got a few little white specks still there. I don't know whether they can be dissolved or not. I might try and stir it a little bit longer. Try and get everything dissolved and then just leave it. Take the spoon out and uh, just leave it for those impurities to settle. And I think while it's doing that, because we want it to cool down a little bit anyway, um, I'm going to get my hot glue gun out and I'm actually going to just, I am going to glue that on because I'm worried that I won't be able to see <laughs> what's going on in there because I make my, my washer a little bit darker. Um, now when you're adding your colour, it's best to add it now while your solution is still hot. Well, that's what this is a uh, wool dye or cotton dye and it says to, to do that now uh, rather than when it's cooled down. So I'm kind of going to have to do it now. Wait for it to cool, wait for the solids to settle and then pour into there and hopefully I've got enough. Hopefully I've got enough. I might actually have to make up another jug full. Maybe I should find a smaller rock. Like, maybe I should do that. Because it's quite thick and it's got to have like that much water just to cover the rock. I'll go see if I can find a thinner rock. I found this one. It's, uh, it is thinner, but it's quite big. <laughs> so it's kind of coming up the sides. I'll have to go back and see if I can find another one. I've got, I've got like a rock garden outside, so. All right, so let's add a bit of this and then I could just leave this for an hour, let it settle. All those impurities will just fall through to the bottom. I'll just add it a little, a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see through it. Although, once all the cloudiness and the impurities do fall through to the bottom, it should be quite clear. It should be. I should be able to see through it. All right, so take the spoon out. We're not going to touch it. We're not going to stir it. We're just going to leave it for about an hour. And um, I'm going to go back into the garden, see if I can find another rock. I want to get something that's going to be like a decent size for a base. I don't want it to be like too small. I wanted to have like a decent sized base, but only thin. Got my rock. It had a little point on the end there and my husband Dave just knocked it off with a, a hammer. And I gave it a good clean hot water, soap with a, a bottle brush, gave it a good scrub, let it dry. And uh, let's, oh gosh, should I be so careful with that? I think that'll look really nice there. So here's my hot glue and I'll just put a nice big blob on like so. Ah, stringy bits, stringy bits. Okay. There. How's that? I probably should have spun it around because I've got more on the side and the rock sticks out that side. Anyway, that's that's it. Now the question is, do I put this in now and then pour that in or do I pour that in and then put it in? I'll just, I'll just leave it there for now. Look at this. Can you see the, you see like the dendrites happening <laughs> just on the back of my spoon. <gasps> They've crystallized into little points. So cool. All right. Um, I need to turn off my hot glue gun. I'm just going to bring you down. So at the moment we can't really see through that. This is a reflection of the um, paper towel. So we can't really see through that. So we'll give it half an hour or so and I'll come back and check it. It's starting to crystallize around the edges where it's getting cool. So we'll, we'll just have to see. It's pretty highly saturated. 
So we'll just see what's going to happen, eh? So it's been about half an hour. I put a bowl over the top of it just to keep it warm. I didn't want it cooling too fast. Now, I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see. There's... It's kind of getting a little bit clear. And I think... I think that... See that dark a bit there? I think that's the impurities. So I'm going to pour it out. It's looking pretty clear, apart from that. And get that off. I'm hoping it's. Oops, I'm hoping it's clear. <laughs> I can't really see. I can't really see. But um, yeah, I think that's the white down the bottom there. Anyway, I'm going to pour it because um, otherwise we're going to start growing crystals in there. Now, if I had to try and pour from there, it would just all dribble down the side. So I'm going to pour it into here first because I did that the other day and it all went all over my bench. So I'm just going to do this. That's looking pretty clear. And clear, I mean transparent. Obviously, it's not clear because it's blue. Oh my gosh, look, there's stuff in the bottom. There's stuff in the bottom. I'm going to tip this way. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it sort of starting to come out. So that last little bit in there, I've kind of moved it now, so it's gone cloudy again. But you can definitely see that it's all that impurities are in the bottom there so I'll just let that sit there because I've kind of churned it all up again I'll let it sit there um, and then pour a little bit more out of it but uh, this should be this should be all nice and clear now what's the bit is I don't have enough to cover my crystal hey and that should be nice and stuck put that in there alrighty it's a bit of a process, isn't it? But look, I want to do it to the best of my ability. <laughs> I do. All right, so now this should just pour in down the side. Ooh. Don't move too much, Rock. Look how nice and crystal clear that solution is. It's still warm. It's not hot, but it's still warm. Hopefully my crystal won't go floating off into space. And this was what I was worried about, not having enough solution. Oh. So we have two options here. I either make up another lot of solution. It's because I've got the rock underneath. I mean, it's not taking up that much room, but it's still taking up much. It's still taking up room. So I either leave it in this one and let it grow because, you know, it's got that much on the sides. Um... Or I have to put it into a smaller container, but then as it grows, I have to move it again. So I'm going to go with the first option. I'm going to leave it in here and uh, I'm just going to mix up some more solution. I'll actually just use what's in here. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing, but um, I'll probably only put 600 mil. Actually, maybe I can... No, I won't, because it's impure. It's impure. You are impure. Your little impure, impure thoughts. I've got all the little feathering on the side. So basically, I don't know if I can get much more out of that, because you can see all the icky stuff coming out. Icky stuff. I'm going to pour this into a cup. And I'll just put that aside. If I can get any more out of it, I will. Look at the difference. Um, yeah, if I can get any more out of it and pour it into there, I will. But for now, I'm going to wash this. I am going to do exactly the same thing that I did before. Same ratios, everything. Let it cool. Pour it into here. There's a hair in it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do.
and I am going to just cover this with another bowl and I'm going to get a blanket and I'm going to cover that because I've got the air conditioner blowing onto it. I want it to cool really slowly so I'm going to go and cover it with a blanket. I'm going to mix some more up. I'm going to put it in there and then I'll see you tomorrow or the next day and uh, we'll see if it's growing. Okay, so it's the next day. It's uh, 8 a.m. and uh, I came to have a look and see how my, my little crystal cluster on a rock's doing. All right, are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to shine the light in as well so you can see properly. Are you ready? The suspense. Look! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at what's going on in there. Wow. This is one day, not even 24 hours, you guys. I could not believe it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to get out and show you guys. So I quickly had my coffee and then came out. But look, look around the edge there. See all those little tiny, tiny little crystals? I'm going to bring you down so that you can see a little bit better. So all these little tiny crystals that are stuck on the edge, they're all sucking. They're all sucking the life out of the uh, solution. They're sucking all the crystals out of the solution. So they're going onto all these little, those little suckers on the edge instead of going onto my big piece, which has got little crystals all over the rock. I could not believe it. I thought, oh my God, that's exactly what I want. So anyway, we need to get all these little, these little suckers off the edge uh, so that the big one can continue to grow and use all of those nutrients. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to get a piece of paper towel. And I've got my little my little blade here and I'm going to <laughs> oh, where do I start where do I start it's funny there's more on this side and there's not much on that side it's really weird whole heap on this side I don't know I, I, I can't explain why warmer on that side. Oh, oh oh gosh the whole thing just moved <gasps> look Okay, I don't want the whole thing to move. I'm going to kind of try and cut some of these big ones out without... I've got to be really careful I don't break anything here. I guess I could. I guess I could just try and take the whole thing out. I wonder if that would work. Oh, I'll try not to break anything. Oh, look! <laughs> Oh, no way. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's, it's something straight out of Frozen. <laughs> oh, my. I love it. Why do I have to break it? Okay, I, I do. I need, to, I need to get all these little, little hangers on off. Now, see all these little fluffy bits on the top here? These have kind of all been floating on top and then they they fall down oh um but you really need you need to get those off if you want to grow these again you need to get all these little fluffy bits off the top i'll i will have to go through and pick those off all later on but see underneath you've got nice nice little sort of like quartz crystals i shouldn't be rinsing it in there anyway let's get these all out and now, see, that, see how that just sits on top? You need to get rid of it, otherwise it's going to grow there. It's coming off pretty easily, you guys. I was really worried. I was really worried. <gasps> oh, look at that. Does anyone live near me on the Sunshine Coast? Does anybody want some of these? You can come and get them. I'll give you these, and you can grow them. Or, I mean, it's pretty easy to grow them yourself. But look, if you, if you want some... I have to break a few to get that off. Wow, you guys, I'd be happy with just leaving it like that, hey? My gosh. Now, I've got to get, see these, these other little ones that are sort of floating over the tops. I'm going to get those off, like so. Otherwise, they're going to start growing on there. 
make sure that you get them all off anything that looks a bit weird and you think oh, I don't really want that there take it off now because then it's going to keep growing the way that you want it to grow okay so there's some more of them in here these little oh, I don't think I'll be able to get those I don't think I'll be able to get those I'll just leave them the way they are oh my gosh you guys look <gasps> I'll try and turn it over onto its side a bit. Look at that! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's um, put it back in. A little bit more of that crusty stuff off. The crusty stuff on the bottom doesn't matter too much, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. I know it, there is a rock in there, but it's heavy. Okay. There we go. Wowzers! Can't believe it! Now we've got all our little bits here that we can reuse. Alright, so I'm going to go and put it away again. Um, but yeah, if you, if you do see lots of crystals coming up on the outside, just take them out. I'm, I'm not going to, fingers crossed, I'm not going to change the water. I may, I may have to like top it up like you do with you know your aquarium because sometimes you don't want to like clean out your whole aquarium you just want to like top it up with fresh water so I may do it with that with a fresh solution I'm not going to take it out and redo the whole solution because I find that my crystals where they've stopped growing in one solution where they start in another solution they kind of change and you can see where where you've, you've changed your solution they kind of change color so I'm not going to do that I'm not going to cover it I'm going to let it start evaporating from now um, because as, see these, these have taken a lot of the um, ADP out of the water. So there's not as, it's not as saturated now as it was yesterday because it's grown a lot of crystal. So, you know, all, there's, there's not much of a powder left in the solution because it's gone into this crystal, it's gone into these crystals. So what I need to do is I need to let this water evaporate out and that will then make my solution more saturated with the um, ADP and then it'll start forming crystals again so we'll just leave it I don't know how long it's going to take um, I'll come back to you again in about oh, maybe a day we'll see maybe a day maybe two days and uh, we'll see what it's doing okay this is so exciting see you soon all right it has been I think four or five days since I showed you what it what it looked like and I broke off you know all the edges um, so what was happening was the water was evaporating so the water level was going down um, and I checked the crystal every like every morning and every night and it didn't seem to be growing to me so I thought okay it's going to need more uh, more powder because it must have used as much out of the solution as it could so I didn't video it because I didn't want to keep moving it and it was exactly the same as what I did before I got my boiling water I did 800 grams of water um, I did 480 grams of ADP and I did 8 grams of alum stirred it up waited for the um, impurities to sink to the bottom and then poured the rest in so the water level came up a little bit I added some blue food coloring um, and this is this is uh, a few days later so I'm gonna take it out give the um, give the bowl a bit of a, a clean because it's looking a bit grotty <laughs> we've got things climbing out of the bowl they try to escape so we're gonna we're gonna clean up a little bit all right so and I got my gloves on so I don't get blue hands now oh, I'm a bit scared about because I can't really see. I'm a bit scared about, like, you know, not breaking anything off. But I'm going to try and get right to the bottom. Oh, it moved. Okay. So it's not stuck to the bottom. It feels, it feels really big. I've got to be really careful. Oh, here it comes. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my gosh, it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Look at it. <laughs> 
can't even see the rock anymore. No, I'm going to take this off. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to I'm going to take all these little bits off and then I'm going to sieve. I'm going to sieve the solution. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I'm going to be so careful I don't break anything off. Just going to get these little crusty bits. They just they're just little fluffy fluffy stuff. There's no real crystals in them. They just sort of stuck onto the bottom. I would like to turn it over and see the other side, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm just going to... Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay. It's really heavy. <laughs> it just looks like one big porcupine now. It doesn't really have the definition of what it had before. You know, it had the, the crystals on the top and then the rocks on the bottom. Now, oh, see these little... I don't know if you can see, see little tiny things here. I'm just going to kind of. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll, I'll glue you. I'll glue you back on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll glue you back on. I was just trying to get off these little tiny. Uh, if something's like growing the wrong way. There's another one there. It's like this little tiny, tiny little things. They're kind of growing the wrong way, and I don't want them to be growing there it's a bit hard to to see otherwise you're going to start getting like growing in all opposite directions and uh, yeah, hopefully you can see I don't know I can hardly see I don't know how you can see but they're just really tiny little things in here that are kind of can you see that one there flick him off Oh my gosh, this is nerve-wracking. Look at the size of that thing. Wowzers. <laughs> and here was I thinking I'm just going to have a little like crystal cluster specimen on the top. And, um, you know, nothing really on the bottom. But I've decided I'm going to keep them on the bottom here. I'm just going to keep everything. Now, the top ones, I guess because they're older and they've been growing more, they've got like colour in them. Whereas the bottom ones are more clear. So you can kind of see where maybe it's grown or I've added another layer. So it does look a bit different. So, okay, so anyway, I'm going to put this guy down here on the paper towel. Um, I'm going to carry this over to the sink because I can't, I can't really do it here. Um, I'm going to sieve this solution. And just get all these, all this stuff out. Um, and then I'm going to put the crystal back in. I'm going to leave it for another few days. All right. So I'm not going to video it because I can't do it here. I'm going to take it over to the sink and do it. So um, I will come back in a few days and, and we'll see see what he's what he's doing. Wish he didn't have these little blobs of colour in it. I don't, I don't know how I can stop that from happening. Never mind. All right, I'll see you in a few days. Okay, so it has been another few days. And I think, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to take it out. <laughs> I'm put my gloves back on. So, um, as you can see, we're getting all our little bits crawling out, trying to escape from the side again. I don't know why. I don't know why that happens. But anyway, so um, I can see the tips here are sitting just below the surface so um, yeah I don't think it's got too much room left and I'm really impatient so I want to get it out so I think all in all it's probably been a week in total I guess I should have been writing it down all right let's just dig in and see what we've got shall we I've got paper towel down so I don't drip everywhere oh that's big it's huge <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so heavy <gasps> Wow, look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. So still got a little bit of the, you know, the little bit that I put on top, I glued on. So that's a little bit bigger still. But then we've got all this extra growth that's going on around the sides. Amazing, amazing. It feels pretty, pretty 
firm actually, pretty solid. Now I guess I could leave it in longer, but um, now these little bits normally that I would just kind of pick off, they're quite, there's a few little bits falling off, but most of it is like rock hard, wants to stay, wants to stay, so let's let it stay, oh my gosh. All right, let's put it over here. <clears throat> just gonna move that over. I've put it down here gently. And then I can take this away. Probably not much you can do with that now. So push all those bits into the side. Yeah, probably not much you can do with all that liquid now um, because you know it is going to need a lot more solution. I don't think it's sort of grown very much in the last 24 hours. Oh, look at it, you guys. It's so cool. Now I'm kind of wishing I just left it clear, but I wanted to I wanted to have one with color in it. Um, how am I going to do with this? I don't know whether I'm supposed to rinse it or or not, because it's got like, you know, residue on it. I might rinse it and get rid of these gloves and then come back to you. That way I'm not going to get blue food coloring all over myself. Alrighty, I gave it a very light rinsing with cold water, just a little drizzle, just to get any residue off. Don't know if you need to do that or not. Let's weigh it. Let us weigh it and see what it weighs, because it feels quite, quite heavy. Alright, I'm still going to be gentle with it, even though it feels... Feels like a rock. Oh, 700 grams, you guys. Let's put that on to, oops, change units. 24.7 ounces. One and a half pounds. My gosh, it's humongous. It's huge. Oh, all right, let's move that out of the way. Let's have a little look at it. I will take it outside. I'll let it dry off properly and I'll take it outside. Now the new growth that we're getting down here, they seem to be more clear. It's just these, can you see these big ones here? They've got like blue, blue dots like two thirds of the way up. And I think that's where like the sediment or imperfections has kind of landed and then the crystals have grown through, I think. Can you, you can sort of imagine like in here, if you've got some sediments or impurities and they kind of sit in, in those little gaps there, in those little holes, and then as, they, as the crystals grow, those um, little impurities are trapped inside, and I think that's what's happened. But correct me if I'm wrong, you people that know about crystal growing, I, I'm still very early days, oh, I'm dripping, very early days of learning how to do this, but that's, that's my thoughts anyway. But um, I think it's beautiful regardless, even though I've got a few little dots in there. Kind of like little frozen, like from the Jurassic Park. You know how they have those little frozen insects and things or in lava? It's kind of what it reminds me of. But uh, yeah, it's really, do you want to see the, back, the bottom? There's the bottom. I like that. There's my rock. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, it's, it's quite hard. I've got little crystals poking out through there. So um, I'm just going to set it aside and let it sort of dry off totally because we're still being a bit drippy. Um, and then I'll, I'll take it outside and take a nice photo and do a little video on a little turntable for you. See what you think. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. What do you think? All right, let me put it down gently. Now, if, if you do get, um, not necessarily the... Um, clothes dye but if you get food coloring on yourself like I think my bag my little um, glove must have had a hole in it get some bicarb soda just from your pantry uh, wet your hands rub some bicarb soda on it got a blue tinge there you might have to do it a few times and um, that'll take that'll take that um, blue off your fingers <gasps> oh my gosh all right um, <clears throat> I'll leave it for now I'll take you outside and show you uh, in the sun shortly